Welcome to another training video from Activia. Now we all know that pivot tables are a fantastic way to work in Excel, very very powerful for reporting. Let's take some data here, we have a category, I'm just going to click on category. Here's all my category for the sales of the, the foodstuffs we have, baking, bread, cheeses and so on. If I just take quantity now, ticking on quantity, let's zoom in a little bit. We can see that quantities are fine, but it's all just totals per category. There's no breakdown information of that. We can move things around. That's not a problem. If I take quantity and put it underneath category, I've now got baking and then a list of quantities happening there. Okay, but it's not really going to make much sense to us. Now, if I take the first quantity, right click and group that. If you've not seen this before, we've got a little automatic grouping window popping up. So starting at one, ending at it's decided on 50 and 10 step intervals. We can group this data. Let's choose OK. So now I can see nicely I've got baking 1 to 10, 11 to 20 and so on and so on. So it's done that per category. Let's get the category field, leave that as it is. Let's go back to quantity again. Put that into the total section of the pivot. And that's decided for me now to drop that into another column. So items falling into a quantity of 1 to 10, we did 7 of those for baking. 11 to 20 is 12. And it's rolled that down all the way through the category. So that's really useful to be able to do this. We could have done this with dates and other information as well. That way we can see which range, if you like, was the best per category. So grouping, very, very useful in Excel. If you want some more handy tips and tricks, why not visit our YouTube channel for Activia? Also visit our website at activia.co.uk. Thank you.